Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Shram Malyala. So in this particular video, we'll be talking with uh, one of my friends from IIT Bombay, where he will be sharing about his IIT Bombay journey, JE advanced preparation journey, and we'll give you tips for this last 20 days of preparation so that you'll give your exam at your best. So don't miss the video till the end. So by the end of this video, I'm sure that you are going to get a very good idea about how you should approach for JE Advanced 2023. So which is on June 4th, the first Sunday of June. So all the best for that. And also please do watch the video. And if you're someone uh, watching me for the first time on YouTube, please do subscribe and turn the notifications so that you'll not miss out any video updates from my side. So please do subscribe and support me. Do share this video to all the people who are concerned. So now, uh, let's get into the video and talk to him. So, hey, Abhi, hi, uh, thank you for uh, coming here. Hi. So, I'm Sai Sharan from NID Warangal. So, please uh, introduce about yourself. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Abhi Manjunath Dasal. I'm a fourth year dual degree student with this BTEC plus MTEC, uh, Department of Chemical Engineering, IIT Bombay. Uh, I'm from Tadipatri, Andhra Pradesh. I was born and brought up there. And I studied there till my 10th standard. Uh, and I did my intermediate from Narayana IIT Academy, party campus. So, uh, and I was from Bash 2019. So, uh, I appeared for both my main and in 2019. And then uh, I got a seat uh, in campaign engineering at IIT Bombay. Uh, that was by chance. So, uh, I entered uh, as a VTech student in IIT Bombay, but uh, in my fourth year, I converted to dual degree. So, we have an opportunity uh, to do that at IIT Bombay. Uh, not just in the same department, we can do uh, dual degree in a different department also. So uh, we can have a B.Tech degree in chemical engineering and a M.Tech degree in a different department. Like there are uh, multiple departments. You can do it in uh, Center for Machine Intelligence, Data Science, Management, uh, Systems and Control Engineering. And uh, there are many centers and uh, uh, it has started recently. And uh, there are around eight people right now in uh, IEEE. Okay. That's a great uh, idea yeah. and all the best and congratulations for that. Uh, so, Thanks. please give us a glimpse about your ID Bombay journey till now, how it went, uh, whether it reached your expectations, like uh, after writing the, after doing the two years of rigorous preparation. So, how how it's going on after joining ID Bombay? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was definitely worth it, uh, those two years of struggle. Mm, actually, in the beginning, it was a bit tough here because uh, I'm from Andhra and here it's a completely new place, uh, the food, culture, language, and even weather. They were completely different for me. So it became a bit, a bit tough initially, but slowly got abstracted. And especially the weather, uh, Bombay monsoon, uh, it's, I mean, if you're not very much abstracted with rains, it will be very tough actually. Okay. So, so and then initially, uh, in IT Bombay, in the beginning, uh, like every student, uh, they will have a wing so in uh, each hostel. Uh, in each school, there are three wings actually. And each wing uh, has six students, 12 friends, uh, 12 students. So uh, those 11 students, uh, like they'll be an integral part of you. So they'll be your first friend circle, you can say. Okay. And so I, uh, in my case, uh, those 11 guys, they, I think uh, they're the best I could have asked for. So my four years went really good. So these are more personal things. But so you apart say like from that, good friend circle will define your four years in of beta class. Yeah, definitely. Right. Okay. I mean, uh, if those friends are good, then your four years will be really happy. Got and, it. Got yeah. So, in, and academics, uh, academics can be rigorous actually. And because you find so much competition here, because the best of the best come here. So, yeah. uh, and you need to compete with them. I mean, with the uh, same hard work which you did with in your 11th and 12th. Like, you can't come and relax here. And some people do that actually. Some people relax in first semester and second semester. But Later, they will realize and they'll cope up slowly. But again, uh, cats can be tough, but you will get habituated because, uh, I mean, the competition itself makes you uh, work hard and do better, actually. That's a good thing, actually. So that's what so, you said, like, just by joining IIT Bombay doesn't fish you any job. So after going there yeah, also, you have to work. And yeah, like, you need to work really hard. Actually. Yeah, IIT Bombay is like best of the best when comes there. Like, it's, it's almost a dream for each and every JE aspirant to join IIT Bombay. Yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, really right. happy. Uh, right. Yeah. Need ID Bombay. So, like, uh, mm. what was your JE men score back then and JE advanced rank and all that? Uh, so, I appeared for both attempts in uh, mains 2019. So, I in my second attempt, I secured a rank of 1767. So that was 99.86% till then. 
my advance uh, i scored 52% and my rank was 1561 so let's uh, move on to the main topic je advance last 20 days preparation so like how did you approach the last 20 days of your je advance preparation so actually i didn't actually start this before 20 days but it was like roughly uh, somewhere between 20 days and uh, 15 days i mean the number can differ from, from person to person but i think it's like uh, i started to plan and i made a schedule i mean it was not like a micro planning i didn't plan for every hour and every half hour so but i got an idea like how my next 20 days are going to look like so uh, i just uh, made a schedule i had to uh, complete this content before this so and uh, i and i one one more thing is like i didn't try to see the entire picture at once i kept short term goals i i tried to finish them one by one so uh, you don't feel like there is so much to do next and okay. you'll get the conference okay you have divided your big goal into parts and you have completed parts, yeah so yeah that's a great yeah. idea so and uh, one more thing is i think it's better uh, better to prepare short notes and better not to use someone else because if you prepare it yourself uh, you'll get that overview of the entire things and you will remember it better actually so i feel and, like if people already made their short notes they can use it but if they didn't do yeah. it don't do it now but do uh-huh. it something right like you don't do have it. that much time to create a short notes now of, of course right yeah so if you don't have it's better to prepare uh and usually like when i practice or revise something i write them uh, not in a, a neat manner just uh okay. roughly like yeah. uh, if there is an equation i'll try to write the equation if there is uh, let's say there is a form there is a formula there is a uh, reaction a reaction mechanism i just try to write and remember them uh yeah one writing start... is to 10 times reading that's what we you, yeah. usually my teachers used to, used to say in my school right and it actually works effectively uh okay. i mean i was able to remember many things better so and most important thing is i uh, i mean decided to do uh, mock tests so uh, in the last 20 days i wrote uh, so many mock tests and especially in last week last week also so i uh, prepared and i plan to do uh, i mean i plan to write those mock tests i searched for papers better to do finally uh, previous years papers otherwise even uh, some standard mock tests also So just a second, Abhi. Uh, like people usually ask me about the mock test, like which mock test to follow, like where they can get a good mock test and standard mock test. So I have this book from Oswald Books, uh, where you will be having ten mock test papers for JE Advanced, and you will also, along with this book, you will also get Oswald three hundred and sixty degree free access only with this book. Uh, it's a sample question papers and sample questions you will get in this particular. Uh, through this book okay so this book is from oswald books i'll be leaving the link of this particular book in the description so you can see like it has 2022 fully solved papers last year like crisp revision with mind maps mnemonics and appendix so valuable exam insight with subjective trend analysis so this particular book also have the trend analysis so let me show you something so th- that's how the questions will be so you can see every subject they have uh, some uh, hints all that stuff these are like mind maps mnemonics so all this you will get through this particular book so you can just check out the link in the description for regarding this je advanced 10 mock test papers from oswald books you have for both maths physics chemistry paper 1 and paper 2 uh, like did you revise all the topics or uh, like specific topics because like i advanced now it will be kind of uh, huge syllabus right uh, like <clears throat> how did you do regarding the syllabus like how did you approach regarding the syllabus right uh, firstly like uh, we need to know about the syllabus clearly because there are some concepts uh, which are not in advance and which are ma- which are in mains so you personally just need to eliminate them this one okay. thing uh, and i i did that I eliminated uh, uh, concepts which are not in the syllabus okay and then uh, i consider two factors so i checked the weightages of different concepts in uh, the previous years okay. so i just checked uh, from which con- which topics the uh, more questions are coming from so uh, that is one factor two i just checked uh, what are the concepts on uh, which i am very good at basically what are my strengths so i try to uh, strengthen them because these are last 20 days and stuff to uh, i mean do, uh, do anything about your weakness i mean you can revise them uh, that is fine but if you want to start a new concept uh, that's not a good idea in last 20 days okay that's great so uh, like anyhow like advance i guess if you get if you can get almost like 50% of marks you are yeah. rank will be like very good i guess right yeah Yeah, I think in 2016, if you get 50%, it was below the you get a below the rank. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, so, yeah. How did you manage your time effectively during last 10 or uh, 20 days? Yeah, I mean, uh, I just try to maintain the same routine. Uh, I didn't break the routine. Uh, I didn't change anything drastically. 
so that's one thing uh, and i think if you can plan well uh, you can manage your time well so you need to maintain those uh, fixed boundaries uh, like you need to study in this time and you need to sleep or relax or have some fun during that time so you need to keep them fixed uh, keep those rigid boundaries if right. you can separate them clearly then you can manage your time well and this plan everything will go fine okay so that's what guys like iit je advanced is something a exam which picks the best of the best so you need to set your boundaries and prepare accordingly then only you will stand out and come out with a great try so now like did you take any mock tests or practice papers during this period uh, apart from those tests which uh, your college conducts yeah of course like uh, i try to write my own my own test yes it's very important but i think in last week especially at least uh, it's better, i i gave uh, three markets and i i would suggest also to give some markets because it creates that environment uh, like exam environment if you can sit for three hours and three hours and without any disturbances like this feel that uh, you are in exam and write the exam so one thing is that like, uh, it will remove that fear factor and uh, if you can do the paper as well you will get so much confidence factor uh, so like uh, how did you deal with the stress and anxiety during the last few days uh, to the exam okay uh, i mean uh, this is relatively simple you can say because uh, one is i took care of my health uh, i didn't eat anything outside so i maintain proper sleep cycle at this 6 uh, hours is minimum you can say 6 mm-hmm. to 8 hours of sleep good sleep and then during these steps actually uh, our friends are our best support system okay uh, i mean try to spend more time with them have fun with them in the breaks uh, more than friends uh, parents lectures or anyone else uh, i mean they can help in reduce this stress and anxiety very much actually and it's better if you do some kind of uh, physical activity i did uh, i mean we used to go for uh, cricket we used to play cricket during the breaks and okay. even the room uh, we used to play paper ball cricket so uh, some kind of physical activity it will uh, help so much actually great and great. i i don't think much about the exam or about the result of the exam uh, is try I, i just try to stay in the present and i and everything went all right after that great 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 so that's great uh, abi uh, so now like uh, did you seek uh, guidance from teachers like mentors during this period like whenever you get doubts so yeah. people in fear of talking to the faculty right right so, like how it helped you okay so uh, actually th- this fear factor is important thing i mean if you can cross it it will really help us so i used to talk to our professor uh, uh especially our maths and chemistry lectures they used to come even at the end so uh, we me and some of my friends we used to go to them uh, we used to ask doubts and we used to clear our concepts and uh, i mean we used to ask about the strategies also of, and how to approach the exam because the lecturers i think they are the best person to give uh, yes. suggestions uh, advice for you even not even your batchmates yes. and yeah so actually even i says to uh, approach your professors without fear they are re- uh, really ready to help you you just need to approach them that's it yeah, uh, that's what guys like if you have someone like uh, either it's your senior or your mm-hmm. like a faculty or your parents anyone just go and talk yeah. uh, if it's your faculty make sure you also clear your doubts if you have something related to subject also and talk mm-hmm. to them they will surely guide you a lot that is going to help you a lot that will clear out some doubts in your mind so now like what was your uh, main motivation uh, to keep keep focused or to try out je advanced like what was your main main motivation okay so in the last 20 days uh, of my preparation day. okay so uh, actually after i came here uh, in my second year uh, we have this placement training cell for internships and placements so uh, in their presentation about internship they gave a quote actually the quote goes like this uh, you didn't come this far only to come this far so this is a quote Okay. So actually, uh, I mean, uh, yes, yes. yeah. So uh, actually, I know this code then, but I believe in something very similar. So uh, before twenty days, uh, I had already cleared mains, uh, bits, emcets with decent scores. So and then uh, I told myself that I didn't come uh, this year. I mean, that part just to clear all these mains and advance. I need to move ahead. I need to clear my advance also. So. this was you can say one motivation so i worked for two years and it's only 20 days uh, if i can do that uh, i'll achieve my dream okay so i guess like uh, behaving yourself properly in last 20 days is going to be re- like really crucial because your two years right. hard work everything depends on the last days 
So if you just right. leave it just like that, neglect it. So whatever you did last two years will be like wastes. So yeah, yeah like what was your college motivation? Like you have a dream of IIT Bombay or any other college? Uh, so anything like that? Okay. Uh, coming to college motivation. So initially, uh, I didn't have any idea in the beginning of my first year. So later at the end of second year, I I, I talked to my uh, lecturers and then uh, I finalized on chemical engineering. Before that, I was thinking about aerospace, engineering, physics, and computer science. Okay. So. Uh, but initially, like everyone has one goal that is IIT Bombay CS or IIT Madras CS. So uh, I just said, like, if I can get, uh, I mean, that rank, I can get any other seat. So then I can decide later on. So this was one mo one motivation actually. Okay. Although I didn't get that, that much good rank, but still it works actually. So like any advice you wanted to give for the upcoming JE advanced aspirants? Yeah, uh, a few. I mean, uh, try to stay healthy and have good sleep. This is very much important. And uh, try to spend some time with your friends. Uh, keep some time aside for uh, doing some fun or some physical activity. Uh, and be positive. Like stay confident in what you've done till now. Like don't uh, see others and think about. I mean, don't try to compare with anyone else right now. Uh, that will not change anything. No. So try to be consistent and maintain that discipline. So the discipline you maintained for two years. Uh, so don't try to break that routine. And one nice. most important thing is like advance is. It's all about choosing the right questions. So if you can choose those right questions, uh, I mean, you can get a really good score. And of course, uh, obviously, we can't solve the entire paper. No one can solve actually. So you need to pick the right battles. Like uh, even if you score fifty percent, then you'll get a very good rank. Yes, yes. So don't try to solve all questions. Just pick the right questions. So like you, you are main, mainly like only very few have the aim of getting one, two, three, four, like like top ten. Right. So if you want to get into IIT, you need not to solve all whole paper. You need to right. pick few questions, like selected questions. Whatever you feel, yeah. like what if you feel you can try. First, you have to solve hmm. them. Later on, if time permits, you have to go for other questions. Right. So, uh, that's great, uh, B. Thank you so much for sharing your insights uh, and suggestions, yes. giving suggestions to the upcoming budding JE advanced aspirants. So I hope each and everyone who is watching this video to achieve what they desire and what they desire for, and uh, like yeah, keep on preparing slowly with a calm mind so you need not to take tension a lot so that's what abhi says and uh, it's really important to maintain health so thank you so much abhi uh, all the best for your yeah. future endeavors and uh, we'll look forward to connect to you later on also thank you so much for watching till here uh, so please check out all the videos on my channel uh, whatever you feel helpful just also share to your friends or family whoever is preparing for je advanced je means uh, srm je vid triple e amruta shastra anything so whatever video is out there on my channel just check out the previous videos of mine share it with the uh, like people who need them so and also make them to subscribe my channel so that's the request only for, only request from my side and thank you for watching and love you all we'll be coming up with amazing content on this channel every day chalo do subscribe and follow for more